Proverbs chapter 21, read by Dexter Sharper. In the Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels toward all who please him. A person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart The unplowed field of the wicked produces sin. The plans of the diligent lead to profit, as surely as haste leads to poverty. A fortune made by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a deadly snare. The violence of the wicked will drag them away, for they refuse to do what is right. The way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. Better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. The wicked crave evil. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. When a mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom. By paying attention to the wise, they get knowledge. The righteous one takes note of the house of the wicked and brings the wicked to ruins. Whoever shuts their eyes to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. A gift given in secret soothes anger, but a bribe concealed with a cloak pacifies great wrath. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. Whoever strays from the path of prudence comes to the rest in the company of the dead. Whoever loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and olive oil will never be rich. The wicked become a ransom for the righteous, and the unfaithful for the upright. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. The wise store up choice food and olive oil, but fools gut theirs down. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. One who is wise can go up against the city of the mighty and pull down the stronghold in which they trust. Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. The proud and the arrogant person, mocker is his name, behaves with insolent fury. The craving of a sluggard will be the death of him because his hands refuse to work. All day long he craves for more, but the righteous gives without sparing. The sacrifice of the wicked is detestable. How much more so when brought with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but a careful listener will testify successfully. The wicked put up a bold front, but the upright give thoughts to their ways. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of the battle, but victory rests with the Lord.